what's up? Eric Johnson here, and I'm doing a Eating with Eric episode. Tonight I'm going to be making some cauliflower mashed potatoes. I know there's some people that post on uh, Macro Magic, and they've been posting their little dishes that they make. I've got my little secret recipe on this stuff. Um, trimming off the greens right now. Basically, what I'm going to do is start off by cleaning all this off. I'm going to take, I'm going to take my cauliflower, chop it up, steam it, and I'm going to add some good ingredients in there. But what I'm going to do right now, let me go ahead and get this all cleaned up and steamed up. Basically, all you're going to do is just chop this off, just break it off, stick it in your steamer, however you steam it. I'm going to steam in the microwave today. I've got a... Uh, I think it's Pampered Chef. Yeah, it's a Pampered Chef deal. Boom, you stick it in the microwave with a little bit of water in it. Hit vegetable on the microwave, and it's, uh, it's a done deal whenever it's done, depending on how much vegetable's in there. I have no idea how many calories I'm gonna get or how many macros I'm gonna get yet because I don't know how, how much cauliflower is on here. I'm guessing probably about 400 grams, so it's probably gonna be somewhere around, I don't know, 20 carbs off of that and then plus the other ingredients it's not gonna be too bad I'm, I'm sorry guys i keep on looking at this red dot over here i'm supposed to be looking over here apologize uh but yeah let me go ahead and let me get this chopped up and into the steamer steamed up and then we'll come back and we'll start throwing all the other ingredients in there get it blended up and i'll show you how to make a nice tasty cauliflower mashed potato and the key thing with this dude is you can make it Put it in your batches, your macro batches, you know, if you're going to do like 300 gram servings or something like that. Get them all made up and you can shove them in the fridge, man. They last in there three or four days. You pull them out, you microwave them, they microwave really well coming out. So all you do is pull them out, boom, microwave for a couple minutes, they're nice and warm. Squirt some butter. I'll, I'll leave all that for a little bit. But anyway, they're really great to do ahead of time. So whenever you got time, like on the weekend or whatever, Make yourself a big old batch, macro it out, so that way it's all prepared and everything. You just yank it out, throw it in there, and the creaminess and the texture oh, and the flavors. I mean, you're gonna love this. You're gonna be like, why do I even need to go to a dang barbecue restaurant and get a baby tail whenever I can just eat one of these bad boys? I don't even know if y'all know what a barbecue restaurant is, but Luby's or wherever you get a mashed, mashed potato at, I guess a steak restaurant or whatever. Um, this shit's going to be legit, guys. Let me get this all straightened up, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, it's just about done. So uh, I've got everything set out right now. What we're going to do is we're going to hit it with some seasoning, which is going to be some nutmeg. Just a little bit of nutmeg. Some pepper. Some salt. I've got to tell you earlier, I put a clove in there as well. Just one garlic clove in there. Uh, so it's getting steamed up as well. Then I've got some, I've got about 62 grams of fat-free ricotta. Love ricotta cheese. And then I've got 62 grams of uh, fat-free cream of uh, cottage cheese. Can't see if this is bright, but you see how smooth it is? I don't know if y'all have watched my other videos, but uh, it's not, it's texture free because I blend, as soon as I bring my, as soon as I get my um, cottage cheese home, I blend it, make it nice and smooth. So I don't have to worry about, you know, the texture of it for, because a lot of, a lot of things I cook, cook with, you know, it needs to be smooth. So I just smooth it out and I ain't got to worry about it. Like right now, I don't have to worry about it. Mmm, this smells good already. Oof. Them garlic in there. Bam, look at that. You can tell it's kind of green. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just doing this, man. That's the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up right quick. Mm. Let me hit this with the blender right quick. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I hit that thing with the blender right quick. And as you can see, boom, it's nice and blended up. Okay, now I'm going to add my cheeses in there.
And you know, if you want to add, like later on tonight, you'll see it. I'll, I'll take some pictures of it. Um, or if you, you can go watch, you know, Day in Life 17, I think it's going to be. Um, and you'll see, my, you'll see my plate of food. And what all I top it with. I'm gonna hit it with. I'm gonna hit this one with some butter, with some butter spray, and then um, mm, mm, mm. and then top it with some cheese, some uh, a Mexican blend ch cheese from Weight Watchers, I think it is. It's a reduced fat one, but it still has some fat in it because I need some fats. And then I'm gonna hit it with. Uh, some barbecue turkey. I believe. On the nutmeg, you don't want to do a whole lot of nutmeg, man. Nutmeg is real strong. I'm gonna do um, about an eighth. I have about 400 grams of it's cauliflower here, so I'm gonna do about an eighth of nutmeg. Hit it with some pepper. Boom. Kick it up. Some salt. Salt makes everything better, guys. You know that. Especially that caramel kamut. You know how it is. Alright, I'm blending this up one more time, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. Bam! See how nice and smooth it is? Really can't tell, but looks really good, guys. Damn, it's bright in here, isn't it? Jeez. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Nice and smooth. Let's check. Mm mm mm. That's some good stuff. And cheeses give it nice creaminess. And it's got, let me move the video up a little bit. It's got a, uh, you can taste that nutmeg. And then the salt and pepper. It's perfect. When you get a chunk of the cauliflower, it's like a piece of potato. It's gonna be nice tonight. And can you see? Can you can you see how much it is? Uh, it's probably about three cups. Three cups of mashed potatoes. Perfect. 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 All right, guys. That's it. So what I have was 400 grams of raw cauliflower. Steamed it with one clove of garlic. Added 62 grams of uh, cottage cheese, fat-free cottage cheese. 62 grams of fat-free ricotta cheese. Salt and pepper. A little bit of nutmeg. Um, also, something else I do. Instead of doing that, I hit it with some adobo. Hold on. I don't know if everybody knows what that is, so let me find it. I use this a lot. Boom. Adobo seasoning. You hit it with that, man, you're good to go. You really don't have to add anything else to it. Gives it a nice little flavor and kick. Um, maybe a little bit of paprika or something in there. Other than that, that's it. You throw it in an ice box. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it in an ice box. It's going to be for later on tonight, about, about two or three hours. So I'm going to stick it in an ice box, let it chill, pull it out, microwave it, throw my cheese on top, throw my, I'm going to have like a turkey patty. Barbecue sauce all over it, smothered with some uh, with some broccoli, I think, and I think I got some extra carbs and stuff because I didn't get my donut. Uh, anyway, I don't need to talk about that. Um, so that's where we're at. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all learned something. And if not, sorry, <laughs> no. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, guys. Thanks.